Hello and welcome to the Mathemagic channel. Today we try and figure out which number is bigger, 222 to the power 333 or 333 to the power 222. Let's jump in. So how would we go about this? Oh my God, this looks so hard. Well, when you compare two numbers, it is very, very good to try and divide one number by the other and try and see if that result is greater or smaller than one. So if you could prove that a number A divided by a number B is greater than one, then this means that A is greater than B. And in this case here, we can see that 222 is to a higher power. So perhaps it would be a really good idea here to take 222 to the power 333, which is a much larger power, and put that at the top and try and prove that this number is indeed bigger than the bottom one. So, so let's divide 222 to the power 333 by 333 to the power 222. Okay. So the problem here is that we have a 222 and a 333, and these are not the same number, but we would like to be able to use the rule a to the power n divided by a to the power m equals a to the power n minus m, subtracting the exponents. And in order to do that, I've got to use a little math trick here, and the little math trick is to say that 333 is the same thing as 222 as long as I multiplied by 1.5. So we can go ahead and notice that 333 is 222 times 1.5. Now this is a wonderful little uh, substitution here. And so if we keep the same numbers at the top and the bottom here, so 222 to the power 333, we notice the bottom becomes 222 as well times 1.5 and this will be to the power 222. Now this power 222 can be distributed to the 222 and the 1.5 using the rule a times b to the power n equals a to the power n times b to the power n. We can distribute the powers. And so let's distribute the powers in the denominator. So we'll have 222 to the power 333 at the top and at the bottom 222 to the power 222 times 1.5 to the power 222. And using this subtraction law here, we can actually say that 222 to the power 333 uh, divided by 222 to the power 222 will be 222 to the power 111. The exponents will get subtracted. So this is a good thing to do right now. So the result here is 222 to the power 111 divided by 1.5 to the power 222. And so we're nearly finished here, but we need to use a second little math trick. And the problem here is that we don't have the same exponents and we also don't have the same numbers. But maybe what we can do is realize uh, that if we were to use this law and we were to say that 1.5 to the power 222 is the same as 1.5 squared to the power 111, we could actually have the top and the bottom both to the power 111. And this is true because a to the power n to the power m multiplies each other. So this will be like a to the power n m and so you're allowed to separate the exponents as multiplications and we can do this in this case and this will be like a really nice little shortcut so we got 222 to the power 111 divided by 1.5 squared to the power 111 and so now the numerator and the denominator are to the same power and so simplifying one step further before we do the final step 222 to the power 111 divided by 1.5 squared, which is 2.25 because 15 squared is 225. So this is 2.25 to the power 111. Now, another exponent law that we can use is that if we have a to the power b divided by c to the power b, we're allowed to combine those numbers and say that this is a over c to the same power, which is to the power b here. And this is useful here because it allows us to say that we have 222 over 2.25, all of that to the power 111. Now it's important to remember what we were trying to do. We we're trying to prove that as we had a divided by b, 
uh, and the top number was greater than one, A would be greater than B. So this was where we were trying to go with this question. So remembering what we had in mind here, this was the objective. And we found here that we have 222 to the power uh, 111 divided by 2.25 also to the power 111. And perhaps we can point out here that 222 divided by 2.25 is definitely greater than 1, which would suggest that 222 is a bigger number than 2.25. Now, if you were to take this number and raise it to the power 111, that equivalency is still going to be greater than 1. So if you were to say 222 divided by 2.25, all of that to the power 111, well, this result is definitely greater than 1. And so this proves the point, which is that 222 to the power 333, which was the top number, is definitely bigger than 333 to the power 222. And with this, we can be happy that we answered this question. Well done, everybody. That's a wonderful place to stop. Thank you for doing this question with us today on the Mathemagic channel. Please like us, subscribe and follow us for more videos and more Math Olympiad materials. Thank you so much. We appreciate your support. See you on the next one.